Well, Supreme Court decision to keep the Affordable Care Act in place is saving health care coverage for millions of Americans. The law expands Medicaid coverage to most low income families, but many Kansans are not able to get the care they need as the state has yet to expand Medicaid. Fox 43 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung explains the controversy. The governor and health care advocates are doubling down on Medicaid expansion in the state, which they say would help thousands of Kansans. But their efforts have fallen flat, with some Republican lawmakers arguing that the state just can't afford the extra cost. That idea that we're helping them to get the care that they need is what keeps me going. April Holman, a mother and breast cancer survivor, is a strong advocate for affordable health care after she says, it saved her life. Your chance of beating cancer is greatly impacted by your insurance status at the time of the diagnosis. Lucky for Holman, health care wasn't a problem, but it is for thousands of Kansans who have no way of affording it. Reports showing 44,000 falling within the Medicaid gap, one that Holman says is hard to close. We've gotten very close, but have not been able to push it over the finish line. And some political experts say it's conservative Republicans standing in the way, arguing that it's unconstitutional for the federal government to require people to have health insurance. And for another main reason. There wasn't enough money being supplied by the federal government, and so the state would have to pay all this money. Money that some lawmakers argue would lead to steep financial consequences, saying the burden would eventually fall on taxpayers and put low-income Kansans in a tough spot. But that may not be a problem now with federal efforts to boost its share of costs with key holdout states, which could end up bringing millions of dollars into the state. We're talking, you know, that the state of Kansas in the end would probably only pay less than 10 percent of 100 percent of the costs. Holman says that's good news for many more Kansans struggling financially and who need help now. But there's a whole group who are working hard, but they just don't have the luxury of having health care coverage be a part of that, and they're falling through the cracks. Kansas is one of 12 states that has not expanded Medicaid, and some are calling the Supreme Court decision to uphold the Affordable Care Act a victory that brings hope for thousands of Kansans in need of help. At the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.